Can you guys hear me? Oh, I'm gonna tell you it's T. I'm gonna tell you it's T in the motherfucking mind. Can you hear me? <laughs> if you're on TikTok, then you get it. But hi guys, it's Ashley, aka Foxy Vegan. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day during quarantine. I know we're all on quarantine and we're all bored in the house, in the house board. So I'm gonna show you what I eat. Everything is vegan, pretty healthy, but still good and filling. You know, if you're interested, stay tuned, watch the video, enjoy, recreate it. And if you do tag me on Instagram, under store Foxy Vegan. So yeah, that is it. And hopefully you enjoy the video. So bye. Okay, so the first thing I do in the morning is drink some water with my vitamin C pill to help my immune system, which is really important during this corona time. Then I make my turmeric tea and I boil some water in the microwave and I'm going to add turmeric, lime juice, ginger, and apple cider vinegar and then just mix it all up until it's all together. For breakfast, I will be making an immunity boosting smoothie, which I think is really important during quarantine to just eat foods that boost your immunity. So I will be adding apples, um, oranges, cucumbers, ginger, and kale. And I'm adding everything that's hard to the bottom of the blender and everything that's soft to the top because obviously the harder things, um, it's gonna take a little more to blend them. So that's why I like to add it to the bottom. My kale is in a baggie because it was frozen. I just like to do that sometimes to make my fruits and veggies last longer. And then I will be adding lime juice just to finish it off and some water and then some ice just to make it cold. This is what it looks like after it's all blended. It's so pretty and green and just ready to eat and I'm so excited. I also added toast with peanut butter and chia seeds just so that my breakfast won't be all liquid. For my lunch, I will be making a cranberry chicken wrap, which is so good. And I will be using um, these veggie chicken strips from Morningstar Farms. And you just want to start by cooking them on the stove um, in low to medium heat until it's brown and it already comes seasoned, but I just add my own seasoning. So I'm adding garlic pepper, cilantro. I love cilantro, so I always put a lot. Um, paprika. And onion powder. And this is what it will look like when it is all done. I like to cut the chicken up just to make it more of it then i put it in a bowl and i start adding my dried cranberries to it and this will make it sweet and then i add the vegan mayo this is hellman's vegan mayo and um, after i add it this is how it looks and then now it is time for me to add all the seasonings that i used for the chicken to this so once again i'm adding the cilantro paprika garlic pepper and salt which i added off camera because i needed two hands to use it but i definitely added salt in the chicken and then again in the mixture so then i'm just mixing it all up to make sure all the flavors are incorporated and then i added some lime juice and some agave It's time to put this in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Um, overnight is better, but because I was hungry and I wanted to eat this in the same day, I only did like 30 minutes. The chicken is in the fridge marinating. I decided to get together all the things that I want to use in the wrap. So I just started by cutting up these cherry tomatoes and I love these little cherry tomatoes versus the big ones. 
Then I'm putting some red onion, and you can put whatever you want. Um, if you want to add uh, cucumber, red pepper, avocado, whatever it is, this is just what I had in the fridge at the moment. And this is what it looks like after it's all done. This is so good. If you like sweet and savory at the same time, then you will definitely love this. Dinner, I made this delicious spaghetti recipe and I just started out by boiling the pasta according to the directions on the packaging. And if it sticks to the wall like this, then you know that it is ready. And after I drain the spaghetti, now it is time for me to start making the meat sauce. So this is the ingredients that I will be using. We have Italian seasoning, garlic, basil, salt, pepper, everything. And then I will be using this tiny little bit of vegan cheese that I have because I cannot let it go to waste. Um, so I started out by cutting up some red pepper, onion, and um, minced garlic. And I'm just going to add that to the pan with some oil on low to medium heat. And then just keep stirring until it is a little bit browned. And then I added my beefless ground beef, which is from Trader Joe's. And I just wanted it to cook a little bit before I added the seasonings and the pasta sauce. So when I add my pasta sauce, I don't like to use the entire thing. I like to use like half pasta sauce and half water just to thin it out a little bit um, just because that's the consistency that I like. And then also um, it helps you not use up all your pasta sauce as fast. And I will be adding this tiny little bit of vegan cheese because I love vegan cheese. And yes, this does make a difference. But if you don't have vegan cheese, you can just use nutritional yeast. And even if you don't have that, um, this is still good without cheese. So don't worry about the cheese part too much. So now I'm going to add my secret ingredients, which is hot sauce, just to give it a kick, and then sugar, because sugar belongs on spaghetti. Do not argue with me, argue with your mom. So that is it, guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching this video.